Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to go over the last layer mask option, which is going to be the add clone layer. So there are a couple different ways to use this, but I'm just going to show what this does quickly without um, any use case for it. So we're going to right click on the line art layer and we're going to go to add clone layer. So automatically we have two layers. I'm going to increase the thumbnail size here. You can see a little better. You can kind of see that it's the same line art layer, but this one is labeled clone. We cannot paint or do anything with this. This one we can. So if I go ahead and put some color down and I hide the original layer, the clone layer has everything that I just did because it's cloned. So it's pretty neat. What you can also do is use this for comics, which I will go over really, really. Okay, so here in the layers docker we have the mask clone layer here so basically this is just masking the you can actually go to set copy from so you can see it's masking the mask layer so if we were to turn this off and we were to sketch somewhere in here make sure i'm on the right thing here yeah nothing's showing up with the mask layer on it's actively visible now. So this mask clone outline, if I turn this off, it's letting me draw within these layers, but over the line of the panel borders. If I turn that mask layer on, I can still keep the panel borders while I'm doing everything in between because this is above all the line art and this is at the bottom. And it's cloning the mask. It's kind of like if I didn't have a mask here, you could just take a empty shape layer with just a border and then duplicate it. So the border would be on top, and everything else would be on the bottom. Kind of like old school way of drawing. Uh, this just makes it easier so you have your mask set up. And if you want to go and change your mask here, it's going to um, update everything else which is why the clone layer is important. So if you want to make changes to your panels or whatever it is you're doing here, you can do that without going back and redrawing anything and it stays consistent. So that's another way of doing it. So we're going to close that. And another way is actually pretty cool. So I was looking up other ways to use this because I'm like, well, you know, it says transform mask because I can't transform or do anything with this layer and someone was showing a really neat way of using it. So we're going to go ahead and add that transform mask and make this smaller. And this is only on the clone layer. We'll just kind of put that there. And we're going to go back to this color here and this line art layer. Let's say I want to make some changes to, oh, actually let's just add some more. We'll add maybe a butterfly. All right, you can see it's changing in the clone layer. Everything I draw here will show there. And in the example, they were using foliage, like trees and stuff to make one tree and then have it plastered all around the canvas. And I'm like, well, actually this would be really good for people who are making emotes for Twitch or YouTube, or maybe you need to make a really small thumbnail this would be perfect for you to say, I need to make this clone layer. I need to make this smaller. You know, maybe it's a thumbnail or something. And you want to see how much detail needs to change to see it in a smaller scale. So we can say, all right, a lot of this isn't going to show up very well. So we can erase some of these details. Like maybe you can't see that cat. So what we can do is erase the cat and make the cat much bigger. I'm just going to crudely draw this cat <laughs> and it looks really bad, but you can see it a little better at that smaller size. So you're able to basically not worry about drawing something then resizing it later and then going, all right, now is this thumbnail going to work? And then you upload it, test it out, all that fun stuff. This is going to make life a little easier for those who make emotes. 
And maybe we'll uh, do I'll do a video on that uh, separately because I I need to make some myself. They're fun to make, you know. And another way you can make sure that's correct is you can just go and make a shape and say I think it's like 60 pic pixels for most of these things. So we can just oh this I didn't lock it. Hold on, <laughs> sorry. 60, 60, like that. There we go. Alright, so obviously this is way smaller than it needs to be. And you can't even zoom in because it's so small. Or grab it properly. Alright, so let's say your emote needs to be 60 by 60 pixels or something needs to be fit here, right? You can at least now take that clone layer and say, okay, well, how much of this is going to be visible in that small spot, you know? And then if you want to make changes to the original line art, you can do that. Maybe you can add some marks here, maybe just dirt or something. Does that show up properly? You know, color the eyes in, make that darker. That actually helps. Maybe we add some shadow to the nose. That actually helps in the, that small scale. So yeah, lots you can do with that. And I think that's really helpful with the clone layer. Hopefully that made sense. And this approach with the clone layer was helpful. There's a lot of other things you can do that people um, have done. I definitely recommend checking out other ways to use it. This is just a quick introduction to what it does and a brief example of how you can use it and like I said the comic templates that Krita provides does use them. I do have a separate video on that explaining those comic panels more in depth as well. If you want to check that out just go to my YouTube page and then search comic panels and you should be, be able to find it. All right and that's pretty much it for the clone layer. Hopefully this video was helpful and you're able to get an idea of how this tool works and how you can approach using it in your own work as an artist and how this can be helpful for making um, emotes for people or even your own little icons for maybe social media, website use, all that fun stuff. Um, yeah, <laughs> very simple. If you have any questions about this, let me know in the comments below. I will do my best to answer them. Make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in the next video.